Yo, what's going on there, guys? Dr. Phil Hahn. Today's episode 26 of NHL 15 B a gem with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, this is our last year with the Bolt. And uh, for our last year, we're going to start off at the draft. And let me sim to that right away. Yeah, so like I said, it is our final year with the Bolts. Uh, it's going to be all the way to the playoff. And after I'm done the playoffs, it's going to be... That's it, that's all. So yeah, so what we're going to do this episode is we're going to do the draft. And then we're going to do the resigning stage. Uh, for the draft this year, there really isn't anything or anyone we're aiming for. It's pretty much... I could skip the draft if I really wanted to. I could just skip it and... We could go from there because unless there's some, like, unless there's a stud at the number, like, whatever, one or, like, in the top 10 position at a trading block. Other than that, there's really no one we're aiming for because it's our last year. There's really no one that we're, that we're going to get to develop. So it's either we get that first overall, we just don't get anything at all. So for this, I really, um... There's really nothing I want. At least add item would it like who would I want to trade? Stammer? No. There's nobody that I really want to trade. Other than maybe Matt Carl, but other than Yeah, I could I could trade Matt Carl. His potential is at a seventh D, so there you go. Other than that, we could we could trade him for a D. Ooh, who's this Joe Parish? Parish guy. Ooh, Joel Parish. What was it? 2018 first round, second overall. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, okay. So this is one of the guys that we drafted last uh, last season. I don't remember just well because I kind of last when I drafted him was uh, more than five months ago. So, but yeah, so it looks like he's ready for the NHL. Shooting category is map. Skating category is pretty good. Physical is whatever, but he is uh, his durability is at 86. So that's good to see. And puck skills. Uh, it's a playmaker, so I'm looking at his passing. His passing is at an 84, so it's NHL ready. But it's just not the greatest thing in the world. His sense, offensive awareness at 86, so that's good. But yeah, so it looks like he's going to be ready for the NHL. That's good. That's good to see. Um, other than that, no one else I want to trade. Uh, Matt Carl for... What do I want? I want the defense. I want defense. Yeah, we're going to keep at that. Yeah, I want defense. Yeah, so there we go. Matt Carl is going to be on our trading block. See if anybody wants him. Um, other than that, let's start the draft. Start the draft. Um, I might just do the first, second round. And after it, this, after that, it's going to be... Uh, it's just going to... You know, it's just going to... I don't know. It's just, it doesn't really care anymore. So, okay. We're, so, we're sitting at the 30th position, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we're at the third position. Yeah, we are. So we still got our first overall. I mean, our first rounder. Uh, let's just... Uh, Thomas Vanek, Frederick Anderson. Nobody. That's uh, Thomas Vanek. Ah, okay, so Thomas Vanek's on trading block. But, uh, I don't know. Who's that uh, scouted player? So let's just... Who's there? Uh, let's just go... Projected. Projection. Obviously, goes to the bottom. Franchise, we got uh, was it Hines? Hines, Steve Hines. Uh, it doesn't look to be NHL ready just yet. Franchise top four D, top four elite at the most. Yeah. So okay, so his his exact his exact potential is elite. So that's good. Uh, Gabriskov, yeah, Gabriskov, Dmitry Gabriskov, the sniper. So. Uh, puck skills shooting category isn't the greatest just yet, but uh, yeah, you know what? It is pretty good. Man, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't see. I know I'm not interested whatsoever in the draft this year. But uh, we could make for that. Uh, we could trade for that pick. We could trade for that pick, and we could trade for that pick. But then again, we would have to add a shit ton of value, which we don't have. It's basically, it's basically trading Drew in. For that, which we don't want to, so we're not gonna risk that. We might trade Matt Carl in the um, in the free agency, like when we go for the free agency. But uh, like I'm gonna have to check. Is oh, okay. So they traded that um, that defenseman. So that means Detroit. That means Detroit are maybe gonna get that sniper or that playmaker. Which fuck you? Where's Matt Carl? Matt Carl. 
They want Matt Carl. No, they do not want. They do not want Matt Carl. That again is yet. No, he's still got three years left on his contract. But uh, like I said, we might trade Matt Carl in the off like by off season. I mean when we resign players or like in the free agency. So let's see who the Red Wings take. Let's just uh, sim option. Let's just sim. Let's just sim pick. And okay, so they picked that uh, that. Uh, they play. They pick that playmaker. That means the crappy Habs are probably gonna pick that sniper, and they do obviously. Okay, so it was pretty much. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty easy to guess who picks what, and then we're just gonna sim all the way to our pick, and then we're gonna see who's left. Uh, Tabby Lightning. Who are we gonna pick this year? Uh, let's see what our scout scouted. Uh, okay, so projection. Are there still any good? People, so we've got this uh, Rhymer guy as a center. Um, I don't want center. Do I want center? Okay, so center, playmaker, uh, left wing. What about left wing? Uh, left wing, no, no one good. Yeah, two way forward, this Goslin guy. Eh, no. Potential's not the greatest. No. Nope. Defense, no. But the, uh, ooh, an enforcer. Bruce Riggier, six foot six at two twenty nine. Ah, there we go, an enforcer. Maybe that's just what we need on our team. And goalies, is there anybody good? NHL. Ooh, this. Nah, we have too many goalies. Ooh, we got uh, Nugent Hopkins. We got Gavin Nugent Hopkins, which is Ryan Nugent Hopkins' long lost brother or long lost cousin, which is from Lat. Was it Latvia? Yeah, it's from Latvia. And he played for Javascott in the Liga, in the SM Liga League. Yeah, so it's uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Yeah, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, long lost cousin from Latvia. Even though uh, the Nuge is uh, is Canadian. <laughs> but uh, then again, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Gavin Nugent Hopkins from Latvia. That's good to see. <laughs> Okay, so we're not fooling around. We're just going to go pick our centerman, and we're going to go pick this primer guy. Top six forward, and then bada bing, bada boom, and then he's ours. Get through this really quick. Sim options, sim to user pick, and then after the third round, I think we'll just go and send the entire draft, because there's really no reason to... There's really no reason why to continue this after that. Uh, it's not like we're going to death. It's just... It's our... Like, it's, it's our last year, so there's really no point of getting those depth guys yet. Uh, centerman, I'm going to draft a uh, defenseman. 7th uh, D, defensive defenseman. To a defender. Yep, there we go. Uh, can I go at uh, second round, top 6, top 6, 7th D, there we go. Trotter, welcome to the team. You know what, from here I'm just going to go, I'm going to just, yeah, uh, Michael Gabrowski is on the trading block. Wow, is it uh, has it moved from the Carolina Hurricanes to the Buffalo Buffalo Sabres? So Tim Gleason was traded. So that's eh, that's good to see. Okay, we're just gonna send the entire draft. There we go, send the entire draft. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Okay, so this bold guy was drafted last overall by us. Yeah, so. Ooh, we got the uh, Roberto Luongo's long lost cousin. Also, T Luongo. I hope he's a goaltender. It'd be really, <laughs> it'd be really funny if he was a goaltender. Also, and Bolduc was drafted 210th overall by the Tampa Lightning. So the last guy to be drafted in the 2019 NHL draft. So let's go check some of the overalls. Oh, you know what? No, it's just let's go check some of the players that we have to resign, and let's go check the players that we drafted. Blah de blah. And we got Connor McDavid to resign. That's good to see. Nice. He's going to want some cash. Liquid cash. Uh, okay, so let's go resign some players. Okay, so how much money do you have to spend? I got, uh, ooh, I got over 10 mil. So that's good to see. That is really good to see. I got 13 million to sign players. Okay, so Connor McDavid. We got Bo Horvat. We got. Let's see who do we have to. Where I got, I got to look at overalls. Overalls, come on, you're gonna do this, game. We got Connor McDavid, big player, 
Rikos Kudas, another defenseman. Bo Horvat, another big player to sign. Other than that, Nikita Kucherov, meh, he's going to want average. The Cinto, and then Joel Parrish. This is, this is, uh, this is the guy that we drafted last year in the first, uh, oh, well, second overall. So it looks like he's elite. That's good to see. That's good to see. Okay, what about some of the guys that we drafted? Uh, okay, so let's go look at... Uh, was it Rhyme? Ooh, Rhymer. Oh, shit. Rhymer's potential is an elite. Wow, but he's at low, so it's going to take some time. It's really going to take some time for him to develop. Wow, if we had six more years to play in this... Well, if we had six more years to go in this draft, or in this gem mode, then this Rhymer guard could have probably been a solid 88 overall. 87, 88 overall. Elite. Ah, that's good to see. That's good to see. And Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Where's Luongo? Luongo. Ooh, no Luongo. Ooh, okay, no. Luongo's the left winger. Damn it. Okay, so nobody, nobody else that's that. No one else that's that. Uh, that amazes me. Okay, so let's go sign some of these players right now. We're going to go on. Uh, let's go do McDavid right away. We don't want to waste any time on McDavid. First day. You know, Druin. We know you're special, Druin. Okay, so McDavid, he's going to probably want. Uh, 9 mil, just like Stammer. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. 9 mil. More than Stamkos. But then again, I could sign him long term. I could sign him 8 years. But then again, 8 years is 10 million. Uh, I want cheapy, 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 cheapy. 4 years at 8.6 mil. Will that work? Yes, it will work. Uh, let's go look. Let's go do 8 point. Let's just, let's do 8.5. No, 8 point. Let's go do 8.2 for Connor McDavid. Let's see if he likes that. This is a big boy. He's 22 years old and he's already got an $8 million contract. My God. What a guy. 22 years old at $8 million. Wow. I wish I was him, eh? We all wish you were. We all wish we were him. Same thing as Jonathan Druin and Steven Sankos. We all wish we wanted that $8 million contract and that $9 million contract. Oh, but then again, Sam Close is signed long term. He's guaranteed a spot in our team. Uh, so, okay, so if I have, if I offer him eight million dollars, that'll bring us down to approximately five mil to work with. Um, let's see what's, what is let's see what uh, Rat goes good as wants. Four mil. We're gonna have to wait on that. And then what about Bo Horvat? Two mil. So that seems a little bit more reasonable. Uh, what about Kuchi, the Kucherov? Two mil, so that's reasonable. Uh, Raku's good as where we might have to let go to the free agency, and then we might have to sign another player. Okay, so let's just go look. Let's just go look at uh, our goalies. What about goalies? Please, no goalies. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Ben Bishop, du uh, Dubnik, and... No. Okay, so none of, none of our goalies are ready yet. Uh, Goldovisky, and then we got uh, Sermonov. Or Smirnoff. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna move up a day. Let's move up a day. Let's see if McDavid accepts that contract. Okay, McDavid, please accept the contract. So I don't have to waste. Uh, I don't have to. I don't have to put more money into you. Because it is our last year, and I do want to win the Stanley Cup again. Because we won the Stanley Cup what three out of four years, or three out of five years, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. It was some something like that. Okay, so let's see. June 26, 2019. Will McDavid accept his eight million dollar contract? Will he? And there we go. McDavid accepted out offer. Okay, so we do. We have some about five million dollars to work with, and that is good to see. That is really good to see. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, five million dollars to work with. So, actually, six million. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I could sign Ratko's Gudas, but then again, it would leave us... It would leave us in a really tight position. But then again, Ratko's Gudas hasn't really did anything good for us other than, other than get uh, penalty minutes. He's a good enforcer. I can tell you that. He's a really good enforcer. Yeah, he, he takes a... He, um, he hits pretty good. Like if you look at his physical category, the only reason why you would sign Ratko Scudas would be 
for his physical categories. So you go check at body checking, 92, strength, 87, aggressiveness, 94. Skating wise, he's got, he can skate, he can skate. He's not like he's an enforcer that's slow. His defensive category, eh, 86 for defensive awareness is pretty, it's average. So, discipline at 61, that's not a strong suit, but and losing Ratko's good as to the free agency market wouldn't be that, uh, it wouldn't be that bad. So, I'm going to go sign Bo Horvat. We're going to try and get him as low as we can. Yeah, we're going to try to get him as low as we can. Try to save as much money as we can. So one more year at uh, 1.8. There you go. Bo Horvat. Hello. And where is my boy Cooch? The Coochmeister. There we go. Nikita Kucherov. Do I sign you? So which is lower? Lower is two years. So let's go at uh, 2.3. There we go. There we go into Kucherov and Desinto. He's still young, so he's not going to want a lot of money. We're just going to try and get him at three years. No, okay. okay, so one year at, uh, let's just say, let's just say dead on. You know what? 800. There we go. Other than that, nobody that's extraordinary. All skaters. Okay, now let's. We're gonna. We we got to go break down. Let's go up one day, and then we'll go break down the categories. So we go offense and defense. Okay, so I really hope. I know I'm just. I'm gonna rant right now, but I really hope for NHL 16. Like I've seen the trailer for the GM mode in NHL 16. It does look a lot better than this. And I really hope that the morale, the player morale, actually works instead of being broken like the whatever the uh, what is it called the the progress report on this because progress report sometimes it's really it's not accurate because you you could have a guy that's that has an amazing season but that still loses some overall just because he's not even getting he's not. Um, He's, well, I just bumped my mic right there, but he's not having, he's not playing on a second line. He's playing on a third line. He still loses some, um, some potential. There we go, and rejected. My God, Horvat, you're a greedy little monkey. I'm joking. Horvat is amazing, even though his trade was kind of one of the most ridiculous trades in the NHL. But uh, well, for that year itself, or for that, uh, for that draft, what was it? Uh, Corey Schneider for a ninth overall. Like, it was, it wasn't really, it was kind of lopsided, a lot, really lopsided for the Vancouver Canucks, or for the New Jersey Devils, New, the New Jersey Devils got a starting goaltender, and the Vancouver, Vancouver Canucks got a third line centerman at the most, and Bo Horvat, which is a good power forward that has a good body, and, you know, just, like, he's a good third line centerman, like, he's there for a check-in line. If you need him, but that's not my. It's not. I'm not. I'm not jamming the Vancouver Canucks, so it's not my. Uh, it's not my thing to say. Okay, so Horvat, we're just gonna sign you. We're gonna try and sign you at uh, two years at two point four. Yeah, let's go with two point two. There we go. Okay, now let's go break down some people forwards. Go check if we have our forwards. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we got Joel Parrish, or we're gonna bring up the Cinco again. So one, two, JT Brown, we're gonna resign for cheap, dirt cheap. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so let's just go at uh, 950 for JT Brown. There we go. Uh, Nielsen, we're at three. Uh, Nielsen was actually a good pickup. I, I never thought Nielsen was going to turn out to be like seventh round. Nah, that was, that, that's actually good. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't think uh, Logan Nielsen was going to be a good pickup. Like, if you tell me seventh round at, uh, yeah, seventh round, and he's already 79, he's a toy forward, so that, that is some good death pickup. This is like that's like when Nathan picked up Andreas Palat. It was a good pickup. 
Like I just I just thought Nielsen was just gonna be some other guy that we just picked because we had to. But uh, it's it was a really good pickup. Like his skating is really really good. Like look at that 90 speed, 96 agility, and we got 90 acceleration. Endurance at 86 and balance 80. But man, that skating category is deadly. Then you go and look at shooting category. He's got some pretty hard shot. He's got a hard slash shot. He has a hard wrist shot. Aiming is not the greatest, but still, he's got hard shot and speed. This guy is great. <laughs> if he like, if you develop it, like probably his max. Say his max is gonna hit probably an 80, 82 at the most if he has a good season. 82, 83 at the max. I guess it's a bottom six. It's pretty dead on with that bottom six forward. Good pickup. Really good pickup. Okay, back. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so Nielsen. Let's go sign Nielsen for dirt cheap. Yes. Okay, so 900 dead on. There we go. Okay, so what is that? Okay, so let's see. We start off with Brown. So one, two, three, four. Uh, was that the uh, point? Uh, two-way contract at 800. That's good to know. Um, Adam Ernie still hasn't developed well. I was hoping for him to be a top six forward, but uh, well. A bottom six four in the NHL, but uh, he wasn't. Because he didn't really turn out that good. Denade. Uh, let's get so. There we go. Okay, so that's it. That's good. That's really it. Uh, let's go look at defenseman. Defenseman. Rat goes good as a question mark, but we got Hedman 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 with the Cuckoo. Then again, if we lose Rat goes good as our defensive core won't be as bad. It, will, it won't be as good, but it won't drop as much. Like, we will we'll bring off Cuckoo. Yeah, we'll bring up Cuckoo, and then he gets a shot at the NHL. No, he gets, uh, no, Barbaro gets the player, or we can bring up Nesterov. Yeah, we get to bring off Nesterov. I guess so. Rack was good as we might lose to free. Yeah, we will lose. We'll lose for to the free and see. I think anyway, we might sign another guy in free and see, and see what's up. No. Okay, so let's go up a day. There we go. June twenty eighth. See if people accepted it. So this on there, yes, 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 and yes. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And now let's go sign everybody else. Okay, so update. Dallas Sagan has been re-signed by the Stars. Nice, nice to see. Okay, let's go sign everybody else. How many uh, how many spots we got left on the team? Uh, we got still got 12 spots, so let's go sign everybody else. I think forwards were good. Yeah, forwards were too good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Odette. Odette's gone. Odette is gone. Another thing that's good about the HL 16 uh, be a GM mode is you can actually check your HL roster now, so you can edit their lines and check their progression. So that's good. It's it's good to see instead of just seeing some random stats, you can see them progress, which is I, I can't wait for. So defense members gonna go and so Radko's good as it's set to see him go, but Radko's good as bye bye. You want too much money. And now all my overalls are screwed up because of that. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're just gonna go resign these guys right here. Offer contract. Yes, sir. Welcome. Uh, 
Thomas. Yes, you want a two-way. Here's one. Okay. Uh, current guy. Okay, this is depth, obviously. Yes, sir. And then Hobbs. Should I resign Hobbs? We know he has a really familiar name to Luke Hobbs. Albert Hobbs. Maybe it's Luke Hobbs uh, from the Fast and Furious brother. Wouldn't that be amazing, eh? <laughs> uh, Luke, Ho Luke's, Luke Hobbs' brother. If you don't know who Luke Hobbs is, he's, he's the guy from Fast and Furious. Which is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And then again, he is pretty bad. I mean, I'm talking about these this Hobb guy right here. I guess a release. And bye-bye. Do I have enough defensemen for my HL roster? It kind of doesn't look like it, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Damn, eh? Doesn't look like I've enough. <laughs> doesn't look like I've I've I have enough defensemen for my uh, HL roster. Offer contract. Uh, welcome to the NHL, Trotter. Trotter. Oh yeah, it's the guy that we drafted in the second round. Nice, tiny Trotter. Double T. <laughs> Double T. Welcome to the NHL. Tiny. Uh, goalies, let's go sign. Let's go resign our Goldaviski. Goldaviski, you are. Goldaviski, yes, sir. And then we got the Sermonov that we want to resign again. Okay, so yes, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to sim up, and then we're going to see if these guys accept. If yes, then we'll pretty much end the episode. Well, we'll go check out the free agency market. And other than that, we'll end the episode there. Let's just go sim up all the way to 30th. Sim me to this date. I actually cannot wait for NHL 16. I really cannot wait. The GM will be a pro mode. They look so amazing. It's gonna be great playing. Uh, it's gonna be great playing those game modes that are actually updated and actually have everything for once. I guess so. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we didn't miss anybody. Yeah, we didn't miss anybody. I'm pretty sure we didn't miss anybody. And the free agency market. Okay, okay, I don't care. Okay, now let's go see who's on the free agency pool. Who's in the free agency pool? Uh, free agents. We do need a defense, so that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. There's only a defense for the NHL. Good, bad, I just want a defense. Wow. Oh, okay, we could give a shot at Nesterov. And who's oh Mark Stahl? Ooh, big boy, Mark Stahl. Ooh, nice. Then Rat as good as once. Way too much. Um uh, Vatanen. Too much. Uh, we could we could sign Braden Coburn. And pretty much say that the trade happened, but uh Yeah, Braden Coburn. <laughs> if he was if this game was up the if it was updated then it was, he would be on our team by now. And Rasmus would have been on the Philadelphia Flyers. But now they're both in the free agency. Um, again, McBain. McBain is a possible prospect. And we got Joe Moore from the Boston Bruins. as another possible prospect. Thinking he would be some guy to replace Radko's Gudas. So McBain and Moore aren't really guys to replace Radko's Gudas. They're two... Yeah, the two guys that are... That have weak physical categories. I don't know. These are... Yeah. Holden? Maybe... What's it? Yeah, Nick Holden. Another two-way defender. Whatever. Just tell me, guys. If you guys would recommend me a defensive sign, then here you go. Here's all the defensive pool right here. Well, not really. It's all... There we go. So... These guys are out of hand, first of all. Mark Stahl, Gouda, Zvetanen, Coburn, they're all way out of our price range, but 
pretty much anybody from Nick Holden all the way down. They'd be guys. They'd be ideal candidates for our team. But I'll see. I'll see next episode. But if you guys want to recommend me some guys, go ahead. Subscribe, guys. Remember to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. So, bye-bye.